Hello, it is Thursday, I think. <laughs> I think it's Thursday. God knows what the hell the date is because I haven't actually started up my Mac yet. But I know it's the afternoon. Um, I'm about to sit down and start some work on this. So I've been working on this this week because I haven't really had the chance to record anything. Um, I've had to do a lot of admin regarding um, Patreon and just trying to sort out a few people on the website and just kind of uh, making sure that people were removed that needed to be removed because I hadn't done that since January so I've just been doing that this morning um, this week uh, just general admin type things I obviously it was Easter Monday on Monday so I didn't actually do any work um, I apologize for the noise my washing is on and I decided to come and sit down and record at completely the wrong time because why else wouldn't you? Um, so yeah, Monday I didn't do anything, Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday I did the admin, yesterday I did some more admin and also just added the neck to this one and some of these feathers. Oh look how shiny that is, look, oh shiny. Um, so yeah, I have been doing that this week. I'm going to work on that a little bit more today because I'm sitting down late into the afternoon because I was practicing Swedish on Duolingo and the time just ran away with me plus I've just had lunch as well and my child has only just like not long gone up for a nap like an hour ago so yeah I'm late sitting down so I'm just going to work on this one for a little bit more and potentially get a YouTube video ready. I'm not sure whether it's going to be done for tomorrow or whether it's going to be up Saturday. It's probably most likely going to be Saturday because I'm running out of time to edit it and voice it over and get everything else done. But I've had a delivery yesterday of some new promotional materials. So. I said in the last vlog that I was ordering, or was it in the beginning of this one? One of them. I said that I was ordering some new um, A5 prints as freebies for orders. So those have now arrived. So I've now got an African wild dog freebie and a lynx freebie. So we have these two, which are A5 prints. They're printed on recycled cards and everything. Um, so they're like sustainably sourced and all of that and if you don't want the print in your order you can recycle it <laughs> They're actually printed with uh, vegetable ink as well I think so it makes it even more sort of eco-friendly uh, Not as long-lasting, but these aren't like limited edition prints. They're literally just a freebie So you've got these two which now go into orders. I also ordered some more thank you cards These are exactly the same as previous ones but the previous ones, this one's a little bit bent on the side, but oh well. Previous ones, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that that's like glossy and coated and like a creamy paper? Whereas this is a recycled paper and you can see it's got just no sheen compared to the other one. You can see it on the bird there. It's got a little bit of sheen, but this one's coated in like silk. A silk coating and then this is just un um, uncoated recycled, so... You can see the colour difference on the back there. So I have those new thank you notes. The images are actually printed out a little bit better on this as well. Like the blue tip in the background is more faded and the bird is a lot more, like the puffin is a lot more vibrant. So that I like. And I also had printed some um, scratch cards, which I have kind of in the process of putting the little scratch off stickers because I do that all myself so let me get an old card and a new card <laughs> should have prepared this but oh well so these are the new cards which I've been putting the stickers on but again these are printed onto recycled card and then they're uncoated so the colours are slightly different because of the um, type of paper but again this one's like got a, a little bit of a sheen to it whereas this one hasn't um, I just like the feel of these better. They just feel a bit more like authentic. I don't know. Is that just me? Um, but the whole like premise of them is the same and the scratch works just as well. So I'm liking the new <laughs> recycled ones a little bit better than the coated recycled ones. So that's what I've ordered. That's what has arrived. I actually need to put in an order for 
some more cards because I'm almost out of kingfishers. I need to order some more bees and some um, other designs as well. So I need to put in another order of cards at some point. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it this week or if it's going to be next week. I just might let the kingfisher run out. <laughs> um, and also, I've had a delivery of some nice uh, crystals. So if anybody is interested, I have this this little box, which is actually a gift from Simon. So thank you. <laughs> um, I've got this tiger's eye worry palm stone we also have this is one of my favorites like labradorite stuff i'm trying to get it to catch the light so you can see it but i don't think i'm going to be able to do it but yeah it's got a nice there you go it's got a nice um shift to it and everything we also have some opalite some red jasper dragon's blood jasper yellow jasper um some lapis lazuli black onyx and snowflake obsidian um i think this one is amazonite i might have just got that wrong and then this one which i know but i just cannot remember for the life of me what this is but it's this really nice kind of dark blue nice stone um yeah so I'm going to put these away in my cabinet over there with the rest of my stones and then I'm pretty much just going to get on with some more of the feathers on this swan so I'm going to try and get like at least down to here done of this, fingers crossed. Um, and yeah at some point I do need to actually get started on the um, cockatiel and I also need to do some animal fur but I think I'm just going to leave the animal fur until Saturday when I'm here on my own. So again, I've got another free weekend, so I might just do that Saturday because I've got no live streams or anything scheduled, so I can just do that then. And this is a really long, talky intro bit, and I'm not—I'm pretty sure this is the second clip that I've recorded, but it might very well be the first. So let's just crack on with some stuff, okay? <laughs>
is Friday, the 17th of April. I wasn't sure of the date yesterday, but today is the 17th. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have spent this morning uh, or this afternoon uh, just now packing up a few orders. I've had some Etsy orders and some website orders as well. So I've just packaged those up, ready to go into the post box later. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. Yesterday I spent a long time working on some of the swan, so here is where I've got to on this. So these feathers are incredibly difficult. I am at the stage where I'm kind of regretting starting this project because I'm like, ugh, now I've got to finish it. Or if I will ever finish it, because some projects just do go unfinished. Oh my god, my eyes. I'm sorry for my watery eyes. Something is like affecting me <laughs> um but yeah i worked some on the swan um i actually did quite a bit i did the whole of this area here and as i said it was very tedious because you're having to i'm using a negative space method so for like these um lighter feathers here i'm kind of going around with some of the darker colours, like I'm putting a base down of the light colour around this light area. And then on that light base, then I'm going right in with the mid-tones and then the darker colours. And then I'm going back in and adding the base tone to the lighter areas. It's a little bit of a kind of long convoluted way to go about it. But I don't want to lose those white or those lighter areas. So it's just easier to do it that way. Also, if anybody wants a really nice opaque white pencil... The Holbein Soft White, oh my god, it's absolutely amazing. And you have to thank you, Holly, in the comments um, of uh, the, not the last vlog, but the vlog before, saying that you have to sharpen this with a knife. I have sharpened it with a knife. It doesn't need to be a sharp pencil to put down like opaque white over dark colours. If you can see on this swan, around the beak, like this black area here you've got some really um light highlights i have done that with this pencil it's amazing and also the like white bit around the head here done that with that pencil too it's amazing i love it i'm gonna stock up on some more because i'm scared that like you know they're gonna go out of stock and i won't be able to get any because oh my god if you can i'm gonna i'm gonna leave a link to that uh, to the Holbeins in the description below. So if anybody wants a nice opaque white pencil, oh, that's the one you want to go for. I did a little swatch for a friend. I can't remember where I've put the piece of paper. Is it in here? Oh yeah, here's the piece of paper. So I just put down, this is just um, like plain um, printer paper. I put down some black polychromos and then I've overlaid the white. So that's the Holbein soft white. And then she asked to swatch the Prismacolor on top. So that's the Prismacolor on top. And you can see the difference there. Oh my god. If you do anything with your quarantine time, buy that goddamn pencil. Because, oh, it's so good. Um, as I said, you do need to sharpen it with a knife. Which, if you're like me and clumsy, it can be a little bit difficult. But just take your time and do it. And you'll be good. Um, so yeah, that's what I did yesterday. Had a lot of fun, although it was quite stressful um getting um those highlights in and everything but that's the fun of drawing sometimes so yeah today jaffa what are you doing <laughs> jaffa is going mental down here um i have to take this rubbish out because i've got this empty box here and i've got a box of rubbish down here that i need to empty out i also need to put all of these cards away before the cat destroys them i have now started inserting the new a5 prints with orders so any orders from now on you there are three owls left and then i've got the wild dogs and the minxes so if anybody places an order you're gonna get one of those new ones <laughs> so yeah that's exciting um what else am i doing today i'm not really doing anything in the way of work today not um this this afternoon anyway i'm going to be doing a little bit of drawing potentially this evening um or tomorrow morning yeah <laughs> this studio vlog is going to extend into the weekend because 
I didn't record the beginning of this week because I didn't do anything but this weekend what I plan to do is another fur tutorial um, try and get a little bit more done on the swan and try and plan for the next couple of weeks because I really need to start doing that uh, but the rest of the day today because I have to leave early to drop James off um, with Simon I am going out in my garden because my first order of seeds finally arrived so now I have some butternut squash and tomatoes to plant and then I've got some flowers so I've got some corn flowers some sweet peas some pansies some marigolds and some this hasn't got a picture on it but some asters so some bee friendly pollinator plants that I can plant out side <laughs> in the garden and try and uh, attract some wildlife also a new bag of compost arrived as well so i'm going to it's not a very nice day but i'm just going to sit outside and try and sow the rest of these seeds so that i can work on loving them <laughs> um, so i'm going to show you guys the seeds that i've already planted and how they're getting on we're going to start with this one this is my little I got this ages ago, um, I think it was like a secret Santa present thing with my friends, um, but these chilies I did not expect to sprout, they weren't doing anything and then we had a couple of warm days and the sun was beaming in here because they're sitting in here and these are the little chilli plants, they've shot up so much. So these are potentially ready to transport into their own individual pots and then I can start loving each individual one so I'm going to maybe do that it depends I'm going to try and get these other seeds in but let me go and show you guys what I've got in my little greenhouse propagator thing these are the ones I planted first and nothing has come up I like I don't know I might have to bring these ones indoors because I don't think they're germinating properly <laughs> um, the basil and the thyme are doing fine the chives you can see have just kind of sprung up the rosemary isn't really doing anything again I might have to bring that one indoors neither is the coriander I'm still waiting for this because the soil was very dry and but down here I've got um, some cucumbers they are there's one little one just starting to pop up the mint isn't doing anything yet the bell peppers aren't I'm gonna bring that one indoors because that one needs to be a lot warmer I've got broccoli which has come up there and this one which is lettuce mix. That one can stay out here, um, that one's going to shoot up pretty quickly hopefully. But I've just watered them all so now I just need to plant my new ones. So <laughs> I have just been planting seeds outside, oh my god it is cold today. Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> it's very windy here, so it doesn't help. It probably wouldn't be that cold if it wasn't that windy, but the wind is just like blowing a hoolie. And yeah, I planted up the marigolds, pansies and the sweet peas. I have now run out of room in my greenhouse. So I don't know whether, I mean, I should have bought a taller one. But then it has more option of falling over. I kind of want like a more permanent greenhouse. But I don't know where to put it. Because if I was to put it at the end of my garden. It doesn't get very much sun at the end of the garden. Um, so I'd be at a little bit of a loss as to where to put it. But I don't know whether to order another like little makeshift plastic one in the meantime. I don't know what to do. Um, the only other seeds that I have are these asters and some corn flowers but these ones don't need planting out until sort of um I can do those in May so that's all the end of April so hopefully by then some of those seeds in the greenhouse will have germinated and I can transplant them or transport them into either the prepared uh, vegetable bed for the vegetables or into some larger pots which I need to order if anybody knows where I can get some terracotta pots delivered from, please let me know. I obviously have tried Amazon. I'm a little bit worried about getting them from Amazon because they're going to probably break in the uh, courier. Um, I should have gone to the garden centre way before all of this whole situation started because I was going to get some timber to make some raised beds. 
and I put it off and I shouldn't have done because I was going to go and get some pots at the same time because I've got strawberries and like I've got these flowers that I want to grow and things so I don't know where to get any terracotta pots from and also I would need some pot stands as well because the ground is very uneven out on my grass so I need some terracotta pots or like some fancy kind of glazed pots I don't really care what they are just need them to kind of fit some flowers and just kind of be quite large-ish so some fairly large pots not like the little pots I need some big old pots and also if anybody knows where you can order compost from um, let me know that as well because I have one bag of compost which is the seed and cutting compost which I've just put it everything up with um, and then I've got bulb compost which I can use it isn't the end of the world but I'd rather not um, I would just like some multi-purpose compost just to fill the pots so that I can um, plant because I can plant these seeds directly into a pot and grow them that way so I need some pots to be able to do that so if anybody has any ideas please let me know give me some links below or tell me some places that could possibly do them I've checked like home base and um, all those garden center type places I'm imagining some kind of like independent place maybe would potentially ship I don't know um, but anyway as I was doing that I had a couple more orders on Etsy so I just need to package those up now um, and then I think that's it for today I'm not going to do any drawing because sitting out there and in the wind is actually giving me a bit of a headache so I need to rehydrate so I need to drink this water and I'm also going to do a few admin bits as well because I've got a few Etsy messages from like the USA people where things haven't turned up when they said because of the delay in the post and everything at the moment so I need to sit in order um, answer some of those and just do some other general admin bits so I will see you guys tomorrow hi guys it is now Monday I did not record anything over the weekend like I said I was going to I said I was going to record a little bit of Saturday but I didn't I did sit down here and do, do some actual work on Saturday but I just didn't um, record anything because I literally just sat on Skype with friends and uh, carried on drawing <laughs> so that was my uh, the extent of my work over the weekend I got some more done on the swan this is where we are at now I'm quite pleased with the progress it is extremely tedious work um, and I'm not sure whether I want to work some more on this today or whether I'm going to work on something else I'm not sure I'm kind of feeling like I want to spend a little bit of time this evening um, sitting down here and doing um, some work some um, maybe recording some tutorials it's easier for me to record in the evening at the moment because of the light I need to get around to ordering some blackout curtains so that I can draw them and that there's no like uh, pink glare or pink cast whilst I'm recording because as I think I've mentioned I've mentioned it in live streams I'm not sure if I've mentioned it on um, vlogs but these curtains here as you can see are like when when you you can see the pinkness of that right it then casts itself onto the desk so that I'm left uh, when the camera's on with this pink aura I don't know what to call it <laughs> um so I would like alter all of the light balance and everything, the white balance, light balance on my camera, but it's set up like optimum. It's just the fact that it's so bright and the sun shining through that it um, unbalances it. It's okay when it's an overcast day, like if it's not as sunny as like it is today, but when it is like this, like it has been for the past couple of weeks, it is very, very pink. Um, and it just puts me off recording. So I think I'm going to actually record something this evening. I don't know whether to start the cockatiel or whether to um, do a small fur tutorial. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I really should get going on the cockatiel. Um, but yeah, so I'm sitting down now because James is asleep. He's up for his nap. He's actually not asleep just yet, but he will fall asleep soon. So, I have done some admin tasks. I've been doing those whilst he was awake earlier. We've been for our post run. We've posted off all of the orders because I sat down this morning and just packaged up a few um, Etsy orders that I had. 
sorry for this lighting by the way but when the camera is here my face just looks terrible much like it does now but I have no makeup on today because I did plan on just kind of sitting here and letting the sun absorb into my face to try and get some like sun rays and some vitamin d but I've left makeup off today um so yeah I don't know whether to do the swan or whether to do some planning it's a bit late in the month to do planning for this month but I could get a head start on May so I'm not sure exactly what to do. I'm kind of feeling a little bit like procrastinating today. Um, I know I should really get some drawing done. But at the same time, I'm looking at this one and I'm thinking, no. <sighs> oh, the tediousness of it. I also want to get out into the garden and just check on all of my seeds and everything. Um, but yeah, I uh, basically the main point of me filming this part was to um, sign off the vlog so that I can edit it. <laughs> so um, yeah, because I didn't film anything Saturday, that's the progress. I'm rambling now, so I'll bid you farewell and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.